Off the eastern coast of Australia, there's a long, narrow bit of land called Fraser Island. There's a species of spider on this island that's notorious for its venom. This spider is the Kagari, or the Fraser Island funnel-web spider, and it contains a very dangerous venom that's rich in biologically potent chemicals. These chemical compounds in the spider venom have been studied in great detail. Many chemicals have been identified and isolated from the spider venom, and have later been found to have medical value. One such chemical extracted from the funnel web spider venom is known as HI1A, which has been found to have a protective effect against brain injury from stroke. Now this chemical, HI1A, is the subject of today's news, as a new medical use has been identified. The research team responsible for this development was led by Dr. Meredith Redd and Dr. Nathan Palpent from the Institute for Molecular Bioscience at the University of Queensland in Australia. Now, a stroke is generally caused by a lack of oxygen to regions of the brain, causing the cells there to asphyxiate and die. In a video released with a press article published by the University of Queensland, Dr. Palpent explains that HI1A can protect these cells from dying during a stroke. And because both the brain and the heart are particularly sensitive structures to oxygen deprivation, it would be interesting to see what protective effects HI1A has against damage from a heart attack. This avenue of research was originally proposed by a Professor Glenn King, who first identified HI1A and its protective benefits against stroke. This all makes sense, after all as both a heart attack and a stroke are caused by cells suffering from a lack of oxygen. The fundamental problem is the same, so it was reasoned that perhaps this compound that could protect brain cells from oxygen deprivation or damage from oxygen deprivation, perhaps it could have a similar protective effect to cardiac cells in the case of a heart attack. Now Dr. Palpent explains, quote, after a heart attack, blood flow to the heart is reduced, resulting in a lack of oxygen to heart muscle. The lack of oxygen causes the cell environment to become acidic, which combine to send a message for heart cells to die." Unquote. The important detail here is that cell death seems to result from both oxygen deprivation and the cell sensing the high acidity of the environment. Apparently this is needed in combination to trigger the death signal. Now, Dr. Meredith Red was the lead experimenter on the project, and she tested HI1A on human heart cells that were put through a simulated heart attack. Dr. Red said, quote, the HI1A protein from spider venom blocks acid-sensing ion channels in the heart and stops that death signal in its tracks, allowing for greater survival of heart cells, unquote. You know, this is really fascinating. It's awesome that the mechanism of action is able to work in heart cells to the point where there is a significant protective effect. It's also really interesting that cell death requires an acid signal, and stopping that signal can actually stop cell death. I didn't know that, and it sounds kind of wild to me, kind of crazy, but if that's the case, and it seems to be, as they've indicated with their research and their theory behind their research and their experiment, I mean, that's just super wild. You know, talk about mind blowing. I also think it's incredible that the lack of oxygen itself isn't rapidly fatal to the cell. I mean, you'd think it would be but I guess it's tolerable for the cell for some time, so long as the acid sensor isn't triggered. It makes me wonder if there's applications here for preserving tissue for long periods of time, like for transplants, or even for something as sci-fi as cryogenics. Now, this is something that the research team and other scientists in the field have also discussed. For example, Professor Peter McDonald of the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute said, quote, the survival of heart cells is vital in heart transplants. Treating hearts with the HI1A and reducing cell death will increase how far the heart can be transported and improve the likelihood of a successful transplant. Usually, if the donor heart has stopped beating for more than 30 minutes before retrieval, the heart can't be used. Even if we can buy an extra 10 minutes, that could make the difference between someone having a heart and someone missing out. For people who are literally on death's door, this could be life-changing." Life-changing indeed. The research team was asked what future application they think this compound might have. 
They said that first responders, like EMTs dispatching from an ambulance, could administer some kind of HI1A drug to heart attack victims on scene. This could improve heart attack survival rates, particularly in rural areas where there's little infrastructure and medical services may be rare or non-existent, difficult to access, or require lengthy travel time. They also hope to see it used to increase the preservation time of donor hearts. Now before I wrap this up, I also want to mention an important lesson here. This chemical compound will likely save many lives. It offers huge medical value, and it may even offer a new approach to cryogenic science. And it was all found in the venom of a spider on a tiny island in a remote part of the world. This is the inherent value of biodiversity. Every animal and every plant and every fungi and every microbe around us is packed full of unique proteins and metabolites and other interesting compounds and a good portion of them all have some kind of biological significance, some kind of medical value. After all, pretty much all of our drugs and whatnot come from organic chemicals produced by plants and animals. So you can see why this is one of the big reasons why extinctions are so terrible. When a species is wiped out, not only are all of the individuals dead and gone, their contribution to the ecology gone with them, but so too is all of their biochemical richness, and any potential value therein is gone as well. Maybe this was a species who had some molecule expressed in some of its liver cells or some of its immune cells that could cure some terrible disease like Ebola or malaria or something. We'd never know because we didn't get a chance to look and study it sufficiently before the animal went extinct. All of that potential value there is gone as well. This is why preservation of species and of ecosystems is so important. Anyways, if you ever have a heart attack at some point in the future, this little spider might be responsible for the drug that saves your life one day. That's super neat. Clinical trials for HI1A treatment against stroke and heart disease are expected to begin in the next two to three years, and I really hope that something substantial can come out of it. That'd be awesome.